every morning we've been watching this hawk and uh, trying to I've been trying to get video of him. What did he kill this morning? Pig's foot. He killed a pig? Pig foot. We were worried this morning that he had killed one of our guineas, but I think he's getting into our slop. <laughs> the guineas are smart, they're all hiding. Watch this. Come! Hey, hey, hey. The pup is bored. It's uh, winter time. Get over here, pup, pup, pup! It's getting into the slop. Don't you do that. I need you eating any of that weird stuff. Heal. The pup is bored. It's uh, winter time. I don't spend a lot of time outside doing retrieval work with him or anything. We come outside to you know do the chores and things, but after that, I don't really feel like being out here, just training a dog. Ah, leave it. You can't let your animals get too bored. Bones is a working dog. He needs a job. So even when I'm doing chores, I try to give him a job. Pop up. So I just told him place, which means stay there on that spot. And that's his job now. And now instead of just running around and getting into trouble, he has a task. He doesn't want to do it, but he wants to please me ultimately. So he's struggling between the desire to go into that slop pile and try to find something yummy or to please me. Let's see how he does as I do the chicken chores this morning. Here's a slop pile. There's the dog in his place. Me going to do the chicken chores. You watch. See how he does. I will not edit out any corrections, I promise. Pile's still there. Dog's still there. No correction needed. He knows what I expect of him. He's got a job and he followed through. This is one of the reasons I love labs so much because labs want to make you happy. They know you, they know what you expect of them, and they just want to make you happy. And that kind of dog makes life better, doesn't it, Bo? Doesn't it? Look at how majestic that pup is. Look at how majestic. Okay. Ah, ah. Leave it. Okay is my release word with him. Sit. So when I tell him a command, he has to listen to it until I say, okay. It's really good to have a release word like that. That way your dog knows when you say sit, you mean sit. You don't have to say stay. You don't need to confuse them with more commands. Just one sit means sit. And then, okay, means he's all done. We've had a few other dogs on this homestead over the years. Some of our own, some that we were watching for other people. And I have not found a breed that's better for a multi-purpose homestead dog than a lab. Our lab is, the labs have always been the best. If you want to see a little bit more about how I train him, you can check out this video. Speaking about bored animals, the chickens are going to be bored today. You may have noticed while I was doing the chicken chores, I didn't let them out of the coop. The 
coops are closed. All the chickens are inside with feed, water, and a light. That is because of Mr. Hawk. I think he's eating the slop. Seems like every year around the same time period, we get a hawk that starts coming through and uh, hanging out. We've watched him the last couple mornings. He'll be up in a tree and he's watching. And so we decided the next couple days, we'll keep the chickens in the coops. We'll give them lots of food, water, light, and slop. Not nasty stuff, but maybe stuff that'll keep them entertained. You know, a big old head of lettuce that went bad or, you know, something they can peck and have fun at so they don't get bored. You just took off. Because if we let them out, they are going to be killed by that hawk. And I think that the chickens would rather be a little bored than a little dead. My professional opinion. them in for a few days. I've been told by others hawks migrate along the same kind of line or track and so this hawk might be migrating through. Stop for a few days, try to eat some chickens and then he'll head on his way. So as long as we keep them in for just a couple days should break the pattern that hawk should leave and we won't have any dead chickens. Plus maybe we'll have a few more eggs because they're inside the coop, they got a light, keep them happy, make sure they're not pecking on each other. It's not ideal, but again, I think they'd rather be alive than dead. Okay, watch how helpful this is, having a command like place for a dog. Sit. What do you guys do to keep your animals from being killed? Cats are not as well trained, that's for sure. What do you do to keep your chickens from being killed by hawks? I'd love to know in the comments below. I told him sit. Now follow, watch this. This is his place. Ready for this? Place! You're a good boy. Yes. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about how we train our dog, you can click this video. And uh, don't forget to sign up to our email list because YouTube does not share all our videos with you, but every Friday we send everyone on our email list all our weekly videos so you don't miss any.